now. Um, we're fishing as close to the islands as we can. Uh, I've got a rod out, pretty much touching the island. The bank drops off quite quickly by the looks. Um, and then we're sort of trying to close off the gap so anything coming in or out of our bay is going to get caught or is going to at least travel past our bay. Um, we haven't seen anything yet. We've been looking quite a bit for some kind of shows. Not seen anything really significant. Um, it's quite chilly, quite windy. It's about four degrees at the moment. It was about two last night and I do think it'll be about zero tonight. So we are in for a cold one. Um, I have been spawning over one rod. I've put about three to four spawns out, not big spawns, just sort of medium sized, small spawns on the one rod. And then on the other rod, I'm just fishing a very, very small scoop of bait over the top of it. And on the other rod, I have a zig that is sort of covering the entrance from the middle of the lake, um, sort of from peg nine. So hopefully uh, we will sort of catch anything coming in and out, traveling through there. Um, I didn't mention we're on peg seven, uh, which is sort of one of the end pegs of the lake um, on, on each of the one ends. So we're sort of, uh, we're sort of isolated at this top corner, I suppose, um, but it does look really good. It looks nice for a fish, so hopefully um, we'll get something there. But we're all baited up, we're all ready, and we're just waiting for something to come across the bait now, but hopefully it won't be too long. But I'll keep you updated, and hopefully we'll come back with a fish. Well, we've got the sausages on. Currently nothing happening in the lake. We've seen some shows. We've seen quite a few break in the surface um, and one, into, one or two roll, but nothing of any excitement happening. Fingers crossed we can get something before the hours of dark. We're still quite positive, but it is getting colder. So I imagine it'll slow up a little bit. 10 seconds later. Start off 2023, first fish. He's only a little mirror, but what a beauty at that. A little scale missing there, but honestly, you don't mind when they look like that. About 12, 13 pounds. I've not weighed him. I don't think I need to. It's just nice to be off the mark after a, a few blank sessions.
Couldn't be happier. Absolutely bob on. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come for the rest of the evening. But if not, then this is more than enough for me. Let's get him back in the water because it's freezing cold. I can't feel my hands. And hopefully, hopefully he is not the last one of the session for either of us. So after that bit of madness, I'm absolutely over the moon to be off the mark for 2023. It was a quite a significant capture as I've had two blanks now. If you've watched my other videos, you will know. And uh, I've sort of been kicking myself over those. So I'm really glad that I've sort of got myself off the mark and uh, sort of made a start for 2023, I suppose. Um, it wasn't massive. It was 12, 13 pounds, I'll give it that. And it was a very nice looking fish. It didn't fight massively hard until it was about a rod length out but um, I'm really, really pleased with it, regardless of how big it is. It's also given me a lot of confidence for the rest of the night and going into tomorrow. And honestly, for the rest of sort of the winter term and, and the start of spring, um, I think that first capture for the year really does give you uh, a boost if, um, if you've got sort of something behind you. And uh, yeah, that really has. So I'm fishing one in the margin here on my left and two over onto the island they're both um they both on the island had a couple of spawns on and the one in the margin just had a handful of bait that i've put in most of the day and then i've just dropped the bait on it as we've gone into the night so uh yeah i will let you know what sort of uh, bait i'm using for the spawns in the morning when it's light uh, but it just consists of seeds nuts and stuff like that um the fish that i caught was caught on an rvb wafter um over with, with sort of two spawns three spawns over the top of it um so yeah it, it was a really good capture and hopefully it won't be the last one of the night um i'm feeling quite confident now for the rest of the night and we can only hope it's supposed to get quite cold so fingers crossed they still keep moving and find a little bit of our bait but if not then i will see you in the morning but hopefully that is not the last time i see you hemp we've got tigers we have a uh, sort of syrupy sweet glug we have red maggots uh, we have some crumbed and chopped boilies and then I have like a sort of particle mix with some seeds and various different nuts in that um, I honestly recommend that if you can use things like particle and tigers especially somewhere where it doesn't have bream and a lot of like big silvers and stuff um, I would definitely recommend using tigers and particle. It's my go-to if I can use it. If there's a lot of bream, I tend not to because they will smash particle. Um, but my go-to, if I can use it, is tigers. I do believe this place doesn't have any restrictions on the bait. So that is exactly what I'm gonna be using throughout the rest of the session here is tigers and particle. Uh, I just think tigers work the best. Um, a lot of places don't allow it, so a lot of places, a lot of people don't bother fishing tigers. And honestly, I think that tigers is one of the best bait. It's very close to a natural bait, and it just does the work. Uh, there's a lot of glugs and stuff that you can put with it as well. But as you can see, it's a very gloopy mix. So when it hits the hits the water, it sort of 
makes its way into a larger area it'll fizz up the water it will get into the bottom it'll get them searching if they are to find it um there's nothing really there's a few whole tigers in there but that is about it i try and keep my baits nice and small in the winter it keeps them searching they don't want to be filling up on big massive whole boilies they want to be searching around they want something just to keep them going so that is exactly what i am fishing with here we have about eight hours left but i don't think we're staying until the end today um we will probably pack up a little bit earlier it's very cold there's not a lot of showing not a lot of action um but we have got off to a start with 2023 with our first fish at least um it's been three sessions now and hopefully it won't be the last of the year and hopefully it won't be the last of the session but if not then we have got off to a good start this year and we will continue to fish as many places as we can this year to try and get as many fish as we can and maybe we can even break the 40 mark at some point this year but let's wait and see for that so i'll update you if we catch anything else if not then i'll probably catch you when i'm back in the van and all packed up but fingers crossed that won't be the last time i see you So we're back in the van. What a great way to start 2023 with a fish from the island's fishery. Uh, we were on peg seven, as you've probably seen. It's definitely worth a try here. I will be back in the summer. I don't think the weather's been very nice to us. It has dropped off over the last couple of days. And I think that's been like detrimental to how it's fished. No one on the lake has pretty much caught since we've been here, um, according to the bailiff. So hopefully someone will catch after we've left it would be nice if they could get some fish out but honestly it would be nice if we could have got more fish out but i'll take it i will really take it um thank you very much for watching i really do hope you enjoy we're so close as of today we are so close to 100 subs which is amazing we're currently on like 96 so uh hopefully by the time this video is out we are on 100 but if we're not make sure you smash that subscribe button that would mean the absolute world to me and i will see you on the next fishing adventure which i'm not sure what it is yet but it's a surprise for both of us thank you very much i'll see you next time